Coco channel. Today we are doing a battle of the boxes, which is also going to be a first impression of the glossy box, which is brand new to me. I know that there are a ton of people on the glossy box subscription. This is kind of going to be a subscription week. Um, I have a few videos that are going up about subscriptions. I have a video that's going up about Ipsy, which may or may not be up already. If it is, I'll link it down below. I haven't been able to sit down and actually do my schedule because I'm so far behind on actually filming and editing um, because I had issues with my editing software. So um, if it's up already, it'll be linked down below. If not, just keep your eye out for it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with BoxyCharm, which is not new to me and I love it. BoxyCharm is $21 a month and I'll leave a link down below for you to sign up. It's not like an uh, not a uh, where like I get money or anything I'll just leave like the website down below but I'm so excited about this month's box because it's like big band um themed which it's so cool so it says get ready to revel in the charm and it of an era of decadence and glamour. This month we celebrate a revolution in style by taking beauty back to a time when jazz boas glitter and pearls hit it big. So raise your champagne glasses, charmers, and get ready for a roaring celebration. I'm so excited. Okay, so the first thing I see is something from Tatcha, which is crazy because if you didn't know, Tatcha is like the brand right now that everyone is raving about for that $50 setting spray, which Jaclyn Hill, of course, like set off that um so this is fresh original oh I don't even know how to say this aboratoragami aboratoragami this is full size and it's $12 um so soft observant leafettes made of 100% abaca leaf and gold flake to absorb excess oil without disturbing makeup or skin. So they're like blotting sheets, but they're made from gold and leaves. I am so interested in this. <gasps> Do you guys see the specks of gold? Oh, my lanta. Do you guys see? I don't know if you guys can see or not. Oh my gosh, that is so interesting. Tatcha is something completely new to me, and I really don't want to spend that much on that setting spray, but it literally looks like magic. Wow. So this is from Tatcha. So pretty. Okay. Um, moving on, I see a lip liner from Bella Pierre. Um, this is a gel lip liner in the color Cinnamon. Um, let's see. Bella Pierre Waterproof Gel Lip Liner Full Size. This retails for $17.99. And I like Bella Pierre. I have quite a few things from them that I enjoy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at that color. And it's super creamy. Oh my gosh. Look at that, you guys. <gasps> so pretty. And it comes with a matching liquid lipstick from Ofra. This thing is, oh my gosh, so this retails for $19. And I may need to put this on. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. This is in the color Americano. And that's it right there. Do these not pair together perfectly? Oh my gosh. You know what, BoxyCharm? You're just, you're all right. You're great. Okay, uh, the next thing is an NCLA, um, ooh, a vitamin cuticle, vitamin E enriched cuticle oil. Um, let's see. Retails for $18, and it's a full size, obviously. And how exciting. It comes, like, with a little dropper. That is really exciting. Oh my gosh. I really need to take better care of my nails. I'm not the greatest. And I also didn't put a top coat on, so I just painted my nails yesterday, but I didn't get to put on a top coat, and they're already chipping. Um, next some is something from Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics. Um, let's see. This retails for $15.95. This is All Over Glow Oil-Free Lightweight Luminizing Gel Enriched with Micro... Micronized pearl essence pigments and, and jasmine extract to highlight the face for a fresh radiant complexion I have quite a few of these um, liquid like gossamers Liquid highlighter cream highlighters whatever you want to call them 
Um, but I really want to see what this looks like, if it's similar to the ones I've gotten before. Something in this box smells really good. Yeah, this looks very similar to the other ones that I have. Um, ooh, it's very, like, sheer. Look, you guys can barely even see it. It's not that. Something smells in this box. It's the weirdest thing. Um, I'm not a huge fan of these. And it's like already gone almost. Uh, but I'm excited that that's a new brand to me. Um, the next thing is a Nelson Beverly Hills Moisture Healing Mask. Argan Oil 7 Formula de delivers a combination of multi benefits. It detangles, oh, it's for your hair. Detangles, controls frizz, prevents hair coloring, fading, um, seals split ends, protects from chlorine and salt water, restores silkiness and shine, enhances natural body, and it's in a coconut scent. I wonder if this is what I'm smelling. Could it be because this thing is sealed? No, that's not what I'm smelling. I don't know what the heck I smell. Like, my nose is, like, super scent right now. Um, so this retails for... $23. So again, we have a box that is over a hundred dollars value, which is what they promise every time. And I'm seriously so excited about this lip combo. I seriously need to put this on. I might put this on. Um, so that is that box. And so let's go ahead and move into glossy box. Okay. So here is glossy box. This is what she looks like um, super pretty outside box. And then the cool thing about this is you always get an actual box on the inside that is like a keepsake box. And it's Christmas. How cute is this? Oh, my gosh. So stinking cute. And then if you take off the lid and you have the little card which tells you what is in the bag of the bag, the box, and then you have this cute little ribbon and the sticker that is like all the way over to the side. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be on the middle, but we're going to go with it. Um, okay, so the first thing on top is a sheet mask, which you guys know I love. Um, where did I just put that card? There it is. Okay, so the Flora P hair mask. This retails for $8. Obviously, it's full size. Uh, and it's in the uh, scent Rose. So it's strength and energy infused with Rose Aromatherapy. Awaken, energize, and uplift. That is so cool. Okay. Um, the next thing is a nail polish. This is from Color Club. And this is in the color Feverish which is a dark burgundy. Um, it's like actually very similar to what I'm wearing right now, which is actually a Zoya polish, but I like this a lot. Feverish, and that retails for $8.50, all, and it's obviously a full size. Um, the next thing is Aura Gold Hand Cream. Um, this is full size. It retails for $18, and it actually has 24 karat gold in it. You have got to be kidding me. Let me see. I got to I got to see this, you guys. I mean, I don't see any gold in it. There's no way that there's gold in this thing and it's only $18, but it feels really nice. And it smells clean. It smells like this is going to sound so stupid, but it, it smells like expensive hand creams. I remember, like, growing up, my grandmother, like, did all of her shopping at, like, all of the beauty counters in department stores, like, whether it was Mervyn's back in the day. Mervyn's isn't around anymore. Um, or, like, Macy's or, you know, Neiman. And she used to buy, like, expensive creams from, like, Lancome and, you know what I mean, stuff like that. And that's what that smells like. It smells like expensive hand cream. Okay, uh, the next thing in here is a, ooh, a mascara. This is by the brand MTJ Cosmetics. This is full size and retails for $21. And it says, who wants raccoon eyes? Not us. For all the drama and none of the clumpy mess, try MTJ Cosmetics groundbreaking mascara. It's incredibly unique wand and creamy formula combined to give you the lashes that last. So let me show you guys what the wand looks like. Oh, Wow, that is very interesting. Wow. It doesn't have a smell. I know that sounds really weird, but I've gotten mascaras in um, 
subscription service boxes that have smelled to high heaven before, so. Uh, ooh, what is this? So this is the very last thing, and this is actually by Glossy Box. Um, it says Glossy Box in Glossy Box, mauve, mauve, whatever. Looking for a twist on the classic smoky eye? This is a pearl infused aubergine shadow for a spin. Pair with a glamorous holiday cocktail dress you've been dying to debut. This is full size and retails for $11. And this is the coolest looking color. Oh my goodness. Let's swatch her. Uh, it doesn't show up as duochrome on the skin, but it's still really cool. This shadow really reminds me of my Kat Von D love letter, and so I want to swatch it next to it and see if they're similar. Well, almost. My love letter has quite a bit more reflect to it and is more purple than aubergine, but I just wanted to see what it looked like next to it. So that is so cool. Um, I don't know. I mean, as far as like Battle of the Boxes, I feel like BoxyCharm definitely won just because of this lip combo and it's an Ofra liquid lipstick which I have been dying to try. Other than that, like I'm not a fan of the liquid gossamer. I am super excited about my cuticle oil. I am super thrilled that they threw in Tatcha items even if they're blotting sheets and it's the middle of winter and I'm not really going to be sweating I'm not a very oily person in the winter um, But still something from Tatcha is so cool um, and then a hair mask, which I absolutely love um, But as far as battle of the boxes, I think boxycharm definitely won this month But for first impression as far as glossy box goes in general, I mean sheet mask. Yes, please Nail polish, it's a beautiful color. Unfortunately, I have so many like it, so that kind of sucks, but obviously they're not gonna know what my nail polish collection is. So I still really think this is a beautiful color, and especially, even though fall is technically almost over, I don't know, the eyeshadow is bomb.com. The hand cream I'm super stoked about because, again, we're in winter and I'm super dry. Super excited about the hand cream. Um, and I'm really anxious to try this mascara because this wand is like blowing my mind. It like moves. I don't know if you guys can see that. Like it completely moves. So I wonder if that's going to do well or not so much. So yeah, overall, I really am glad that I got Glossy Box. The Glossy Box is also $21 a month, but um, I actually got a coupon from another subscriber that I watch. If you literally search in Glossy Box, if they have a lot of subscribers, then the chances are that they're going to have a, a discount code. Um, I honestly can't even remember who it was that I got a discount code from, but I ended up getting it for 15 bucks. And if you sign up using Ebates, you get a flat rate of 275 put into your account. So I'll put all the details down below as well as if you guys are ever interested in anything that's on me, whether it's my nail polish, whether it's my jewelry or the top that you can never see that I'm wearing, all of those details are going to be in the description box. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you would like me to continue doing Battle of the Boxes. Um, let me know. These videos are not my highest viewed videos but b unboxings are like one of my favorite videos to watch and so I like to make them and why not share with everybody so I hope you guys enjoyed give the video a thumbs up if you're not subscribed already please do so it would mean the world to me and I'll see you guys in my next video bye and on a box I've subscribed to a brand new one um and so uh if you guys missed it I will wait what am I doing here Oh my god. Jelly Pong Pong. Let's see what you look like. Um, <laughs> all of those details are... Or... So is everybody else in the world. So, or not the world. You are such a dork. Shut up. So, um, let, let's go ahead and get started. What? What were you about to say? It's gonna be like subscription week. I have quite, not quite.
quite a few. I have a couple of videos that are going up about subscriptions for those of you who are interested. I know um, that this isn't a lot. Or can I talk? Oh my god. And Jasmine extra. <laughs> and was that it? Oh, that mess here. And if they have quite a few subbies. Ew, that word is so ugly. Studies. 